for the cheapest coins on the internet right now head on over to mutt coin bank guys you can get a million coins for 40 bucks with tax covered instant delivery you will get 24 7 customer support and of course if you guys do use code poodle you'll get 10 percent off and your ea tax covered what's going on everybody poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna go over the best players at each position in madden 21 guys now at this point in the year guys so many 99s gonna be so tough right to decide who's the best player at each position guys but that is the point of this video go for of course it'll be like a 1a 1b as per usual because at this point in the year it's not so cut and dry like far and away the best it's usually two guys depending on your play style of who could and cannot be the best right now golden tickets more more or less usually do take precedence in this situation guys now before we get into the video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you guys need coins head over to muttcoin bank down below and use code poodle at checkout for an extra discount off your total order now guys here's the thing with these new players right we have the draft players of golden tickets out let's get into this video let's go over the best players at each position guys now of course as golden tickets come out and things do alter we will be getting a few more things as we do go on but i have an eight play monthly reward i do want to open that guys i have it sitting here gold team fantasy packs we have some golden tickets in packs i know we have the aj brown i mean well we have some golden tickets right in general now their odds do go down after a certain time period but still gonna try our luck nonetheless let's see i mean what are the odds we actually pull something out of these in general low out of these packs low as well we do pull a jonu smith frozen card i didn't even know you could still pull those i i kind of had a i kind of had a feeling that because of those cards were like already melted like that was like a done thing a long time ago as per usual i have to go quick sell half my binder because we get daily packs that fill our binder. i don't know why the binder limit's so low i don't know if it's for server side reasons to prevent I don't know like max quantities of some stuff I don't, I don't really know it's kind of annoying but it's kind of what we deal with these days uh it's always full i mean again i don't want to quick sell that stuff because i was kind of hoping for positional heroes at some point to come out so i thought like maybe if i held it and i had all these guys put positional heroes if they did it like that it would be a lot easier and way more cheap for me to do stuff but that was doesn't seem to be the case i mean i'm still waiting to this day don't waste your time with all of that looking for the pack so there we go we got our final one right here can we get some good out of it? A lot of team of the week. A Jonah Smith again. Okay, that's it for that, guys. Let's get into the video because obviously we're never going to pull anything. We, we know this, though. We know this. Now, let's head on over to the auction block over here. Let's go. Let's start a quarterback. You guys know the rules. No lineman, no kicker, no punter, no special teams. Start of a quarterback, right? Quarterback, we have a lot of 99 quarterbacks, a lot of 98 overall quarterbacks, quite a few. Probably see Baker Mayfield at the top here, as per usual. Now, if we head on down, guys, as of recently, we got James Morgan as our first quarterback that's going to be 99 guys we have a new ben roethlisberger we do have a 99 patrick mahomes we have a robert griffin who also was released in the first batch of quarterbacks with a new zach wilson now overall guys it pretty it seems pretty uh, it seems pretty far and away that like zach uh what's it called not zach wilson rg3 would be the best one now we did get the new uh, trevor lawrence he's gonna be a fun card but of course no power up gonna be fun though guys from a field general standpoint really really great stats all around um, nothing wrong with the card. Great speed. It's going to be fun to play with, right? Because it's, it's, you know, a rookie, first overall pick, generational type prospect. But overall, guys, I think RG3 is going to be far and away the best quarterback here because of his ability to get... He has the fastest release in the game. I'm pretty sure or, like tied for the fastest or second fastest. So, RG3 release alone is going to get it. Now, guys, this RG3 card is a quarterback that will get 98 speed with 99 throw power, 99 throw short, with 99... Um, 99 medium, 98 deep, 98, 99 throwing pressure, 99 throwing the rim, 99 play action. Pretty much a maxed out quarterback with maxed out speed that can also get all of the good archetypes because he's a uh, golden ticket, as well as 95 agility, as well as what's his car change of direction to 90, which is crazy good. Um, his carry is a 97, which is just absolutely insane, guys. His RG3 is just a monster. Right? RG3 is the best quarterback in the game. There's really no debate to it. Jade Morgan's pretty good as well. We're not getting that speed with all the archetypes. That's been the issue with running quarterbacks this year is the fact that they don't get the right archetypes. But this one did, right? So that's going to be that, guys. Now, we did get a few new running backs as well. We have some pretty good ones. Of course, we have all of these. Uh, these, But honestly, I really like the Reggie Bush card. I feel like Reggie Bush... Okay, so if you're playing current gen, Reggie Bush is probably the best back because of the speed, the excel, the change of direction, the catching, the short running, the medium route running. All that will make Reggie Bush the best back. Now, if you're playing on next gen, guys where you need some power there's gonna be a lot of options guys i mean derrick henry probably would be pretty good in terms of next gen for that reason again i don't i don't play next gen personally but i mean for next gen purposes you are getting a 247 back six foot three 
with 99 speed, powered up and chemed up with 99 truck and break tackle. So next gen Derrick Henry is definitely up there. I personally like Reggie Bush, uh, wide receiver. Again, guys, we just get a golden ticket wide receivers. So you know the deal with that. The best wide receiver in the game is going to be our new golden ticket, uh, AJ Brown. More than likely, he's going to be up there. He may not be the best overall, but because he's a golden ticket and the archetypes and everything, he's going to have to be up there regardless. He is pretty cheap already, which is kind of surprising in terms of you know him being a golden ticket. I know a lot of people pulled him, but he does get 99 speed. He does. Oh, sorry, only 98 speed. Sorry, 98 speed is going to hurt him. He's only going to be up there because of the ability. So if you're, this is the thing. If you're a big wide receiver ability guy. AJ Brown's going to be up there. I don't think he's going to be the number one overall player because of the speed, obviously. Uh, but if you guys like a lot of abilities and wide receivers, he's your guy because of, you know, AP reasoning. Now, from a regular standpoint, guys, of course, I think the thing with wide receivers is all preference. Um, Julio, Julio, Calvin, those guys are good. Julio, Calvin, if you want height, the new Mike Evans is really good. Um, again, wide receiver is tough at this point. This is one of the ones that I cannot tell you, just two or three guys. If you want a lot of AP, if you want a good AP, of efficiency and you know golden ticket-esque archetypes aj brown's your guy but if you want 99 speed with maxed out stats guys you can go julio jones you can go calvin you can go braylon edwards you can go mike evans all these guys are gonna be really good wide receiver at this point is kind of just like a preference uh the annual antonio brown's absolutely crazy as well a little tiny but he's still really good tight end i'm waiting for a golden ticket tight end to be released i know we do have uh, some coming up so, you know what's interesting? I wish Kyle Pitts could have gotten a 99 overall. I know he didn't for uh, specific reasons that he's, you know, a 98 overall. But this card's, gonna, this card's actually pretty good. He can't be powered up, but he can get 96 speed with, like, 99 route running. Pretty good. Not going to be the best tight end, but he is definitely a decent option at a cheaper price. But overall, guys, the Robert Woods is our only tight end, I believe, with this drop that already came out. Now, I wish we would have gotten a real tight end, like a 6-foot something, crazy tall, fast tight end. But we did not. We got a wide receiver tight end, but it's still tight end. Now, if Robert Woods, in terms of stats here, is going to be crazy for his head end, right? He gets a 99 run blocking at 6 feet, 193. That's crazy. He gets 99 run blocking, 99 medium short running, 99 deep uh, short running. Sorry, 99 medium, 99 short, and probably gets close to 99 deep if we do check that out down here somewhere. Uh, where's the deep route running? Yeah, he's going to get close to 99 deep route running, too. If you put it on him, he'll get 93 because you're not going to put anything else on him. Now, he'll get 90, 97 speed at tight end, 99 catching, 99 catch in traffic. 94 spec you'll get 94 agility guys this is 93 he's pretty much putting a wide receiver tight end it's absolutely crazy cannot go wrong with him guys and honestly his price isn't exactly horrible um best tight end in the game just from like a speed run blocking aspect it's just crazy left end now left end guys i'm waiting for i wish we had like a crazy golden ticket pass rusher uh right away we did not now in terms of ends you know guys you can go anywhere here javon curse is still pretty good at a good price um jack youngblood actually wasn't horrible because yeah he can do so much we're all trying to say before you know he's saying it's good decent speed good finesse from good block shed and i'm pretty sure he get yeah change of direction as well as um good hit power i mean i don't think he's great he's all, he's okay javon curse is still probably one of the top guys uh, we got robert porcher again speed rusher for the detroit lions 99 finesse move gonna get high block shed but the speed was a little bit low kind of has like that aaron donald build i really just don't like left ends i personally probably rush an outside linebacker and that's just my opinion emmanuel agba as well gonna get good speed gonna get good power move gets low finesse move though so if you're a finesse move guy you're losing that as well guys you can pick anyone here but again sometimes the outside linebackers are typically just your best bet at that position uh right end guys we're going into here now right end's actually a lot better like you can already see all the all the uh, 99 overalls we got here so we do have now Miles Garrett. I, I'm a big I just like Miles Garrett as a player. But um in terms of stats, he's gonna have great stats. I wish his speed was slightly higher, but in terms of being an end, it's not horrible. I think Miles Garrett's probably up there in terms of power move, the block should you get, the play wreck. The speed will still get power from Canada to a 91. 99 strength is good. I got someone faster, guys. You're gonna be hard pressed. I mean, Jerry Hughes will get, I believe, a bit more speed. He gets a 90 speed base, but then he doesn't get the power up. So he ends up at like a 92. But he gets the finesse move and the block shed. So Jerry Hughes is great. Garrett's great again, guys. Outside linebackers are just supreme this year in terms of pass rushing. Defensive tackle, no one really uses them. So it's not a you know huge deal here. But defensive tackles, guys, you can really go whoever meets your needs. Um, I personally don't, I'm not even going to go into them because people just don't use defensive tackles this year. It's not a thing. I, I understand that. You guys don't want me to waste your time. Left outside linebacker. So Clowney being a golden ticket is really really good now i really like this is Darius smith card and I, I actually guys before we go into this the dairy smith is getting a golden ticket so the best pass rusher in the game is going to be the dairy smith golden ticket but for right now Jadavion clown is right there in terms of he gets the 95 speed 
He gets 99 power move, 99 blocks, 99 finesse move. So he's crazy. But Zadari Smith and him are going to be the two best uh, left outside linebackers for the time being. So do stay tuned for that one. I'm not going over middle linebackers again. No one uses them. Right outside linebacker. Now, I actually thought Jack Ham wasn't that bad. I believe it was him. Hold up. He gets 91 power move and 95 block. So he is a he is a threshold guy. He gets 92 speed, 94 excel. And if I'm not wrong, he also gets a 93 zone and 93 man. So guys, powered up and chemed up, he can get a 99 zone coverage as well as being a 95 block shed guy, as well as being a pretty good power move guy. He's a well-rounded, if you want a well-rounded outside linebacker, Jack Ham's your guy, pure pass rusher. I mean, DeMarcus Ware is good as well. If you just want pure pass rushing, you're going to get the power move, finesse move, um, block shed, and speed, and excel. Again, depends on what you're looking for there. Um, hopefully, we get a Lawrence Taylor and some of those guys coming out soon, some more GTs. Cornerback, we have some cornerbacks coming out that are going to be GTs, so stay tuned for them. Uh, we got Mike Evans out already now. Mike Evans, a cornerback, is always cheap for some reason, but he's not hes not bad. I mean, guys, he gets, he, he's going to get 98 speed. I don't know why they did that. That kind of sucks, but he's going to get 98 speed. He gets 99 press. He'll get 99 zone, 99 man, 99 play rec. He'll also get 82 strength as well as 92 catching, which is really good. 89 change of direction. He will get 93 spec, 93 catch and traffic. He will also get 99, uh, 83 hit power, and his blocks will be 62. The card's good i don't think it's the best cornerback in the game i say it's at least it's it's a serviceable three or four um you're gonna want a guy with top and speed now Darius slay is actually still really really good uh this deon sanders i think deon sanders is really good people people like block shed though but if you're looking for just pure athleticism it's deon here's the thing again there's gonna be no cut and dry guy here because again if you like if you're a guy who goes block shed power you're gonna go with a certain group of people if you're a guy that goes athleticism and speed you're going with a certain group of people so there's 99 Jalen Ramsey. There's 99 Marlon Humphrey, guys. All these cards are insane. I mean, Jalen Ramsey's going to get 99 speed, 99 press zone, man, play rec, but he also gets the hit power as well at an 87. He also, you know, it's a good card. All these cornerbacks are good. Similar to wide receiver, guys. There's not a single guy to option out here. It's kind of just, they get to 99 speed. They get zone, man, press. They're good. You know, it doesn't really matter on the name here. Um, they, they, all these cards are here you're seeing are good. There, there's really no differentiation. It, and now Mike Evans, like I said, if he had 99 speed, he'd be a little bit higher, but he did get killed there. Uh, free safety guys, which you know we're still wait. I free safety's been a little bit weird all year. They haven't had any like crazy big stack name guys. Uh, Buddha Baker is really good as a user, just because he does get 99 speed, powered up and chemed up, as well as guys he does get um, 99 man. The zone will get 99, but that's why you're gonna use him. But he's only five foot ten, right? So that's gonna hurt him a little bit. The card stat wise is great. Height's gonna hurt him. And then you got Minka Fitzpatrick, which should be a little bit taller at six foot, I believe. Uh, six foot one. He will get 99 zone and man on his own as well as 99 speed. So Minka's actually better than Buddha Baker and taller as a user and a let alone guy. So Minka's going to be my guy. Uh, Buddha's not horrible if you also have him, but I prefer Minka. And then strong safety, which has been a better position this year in terms of cards we're getting there. Um, Cam Chancellor, Jamal Adams are all really good cards. Now the thing with Cam, which I'm not seeing. Oh, there he is. The thing with Cam is he doesn't get 99. I think he gets 98 speed, which is going to put him and Ed Reed good as well. Uh, Jamal Adams is probably going to be number one. He's been one of the number one safeties all year. He'll get 99 hit power, zone, man, pursuit, play rec, speed off the rip. And that's not including what he could do in the run game as well, which is going to include, as we see down here, 92 change of direction. He also gets 87 blocks, you guys, which with run stuff, he can get above 90, but I'd probably prefer lockdown on him. Jamal Adams is the best strong safety in the game. But guys, about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on the bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.